In today's video, I'm sharing my simple and straightforward method for doodling people. Hey gang, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and today we are going to doodle people. I'm going to share my super simple method for how I normally approach the subject of people. And uh, so let's talk supplies. I'm using this paper. I love this pad. It has a nice thick toothy paper. I'll show you the front. Um, it's from Strathmore. It says for colored pencil, but I typically use it for all my pen illustrations. Um, and then I've got a mechanical pencil, nice soft eraser, and I like to have um, a brush on hand, like a mop brush that I only use for dusting away my eraser dust. And I will also be using a couple Pigma Micron fine liners. Um, you just want to have a couple different nib sizes to get that precision. Okay, let's just jump right in. We're gonna do this a couple times together. So you wanna think about who you're drawing and what is their face shape. So I'm drawing myself to start and I have a very round face. So I'm starting with a circle. And then I'm going to draw Chris. And for guys, you might do a really long face or even a squarish or rectangle shape because they have that square jaw quite often. Uh, so get those face shapes just sketched in. And then you, I'm going to do my simple little pixie cut here. You can sketch in a bit of hair. And then ears are two semicircles halfway down the face, halfway down that head. Now, it's not a bad idea to do a cross through your circle to show you the middle and the eyes are right through the center of the circle in line with the ears. And then maybe two little dots for the nostrils, little, you know, semicircle or circle for the mouth. You can see I'm kind of playing around with mine here. Maybe two big circles for the lady cheeks. <laughs> lady cheeks, that sounds weird. Um, anyways, <laughs> let's get really close when we do Chris's face. So start with that grid if it helps. And the eyes and ears are right in the center in line with each other two simple little nostrils like a semicircle for the um, mouth if you if your guy has a beard you, you can just basically block that in and then I think I'll put a funny little toque on Chris because he often wears a toque and he has long hair so we'll just add that in with a couple lines to hint at that hair uh, okay so now that we've kind of figured out our faces let's talk about how to do the bodies so for the neck just do two lines and then a semicircle and that's it, really simple, keep it short. Then you're going to connect that grid line and just go straight down. For the body, you're basically drawing like a carrot shape <laughs> um, around that center line. And then you'll see how easy this is. The legs, you can obviously just use the line in the center to split. So you've got two legs there. Draw where you want the waist to sit. I'm actually going to put a skirt on myself, so I'll move that waist up a little bit. And then from there, we just do two little oval shapes for the feet. And I'll block mine off on the toe to make it look like a ballet slipper. From there, all we have left is the arms. Now, first trick for the arms is I'm going to kind of hide one of each <laughs> um, by crossing them behind our backs, kind of like we're, you know, touching each other's butts. Uh, but when you need to draw an arm, here's how I do it. I just do a line and then a mitt, and then you can thicken that line. So line and a mitt for Chris, we'll draw the line going into his pocket, and then we're just gonna thicken that area. And that's really about it. Next, we'll use our Pigma Micron Fine Liners. I am using the 03 nib, and I am just going around everything carefully. So kind of adding a bit of a sketchy quality now, especially to the hair. And uh, at this point, if there's anything you wanna change, like face shape, I sometimes like to redraw the face now and just make sure that the eyes are in the right place. And you'll know if they're too far apart, it'll look weird. If your eyes are too close together, that will look weird. So do everything in pencil first but keep it really simple you can see everything is just these really basic shapes two little ovals for the eyes two little dots for the nostrils basically just a line for the mouth um, 
And then I'm going over Chris in pen. And uh, for the guys, if you're doing a beard, it really is just about kind of adding a sideburn and then a line right under the nostrils, maybe a few lines on the beard to indicate hair. And from there, I'm going over all of my other pencil lines in pen and just adding a few extra lines to indicate, you know, the movement of the clothing, like some lines on the skirt, that kind of thing. But otherwise, keeping it simple. Now, I'll get rid of all of my pencil marks and dust them away with my handy dandy brush. And now we can really see the doodle. And at this point, it's a good time to add more line shading if you feel like you need it on the clothes or the hair or anything like that. What I wanna do now is add some color. So I'm going to actually trace my doodle. And this is helpful as well. If you've never drawn people before, there might be something about them that looks a little off. Maybe the jaw needs to be moved down or the head needs to be made a bit bigger. Um, so tracing allows you to keep what you like about your drawing and change what you don't. So that's what I'm doing here. I made my face a little rounder. And now I'm going to take my trace and I am going to put a little bit of graphite on the back of it. So I flipped it over, I'm adding that pencil layer. Now I'll tape it into this other sketchbook. This sketchbook has much smoother paper uh, that's a lot better for adding color, like marker. So that's what we're going to do. This is totally just bonus for fun if you wanna add some color to yours. Trace that trace <laughs> and uh, you'll have a nice pencil outline in your next notebook or on your good copy paper. And from there, I like to add the marker first. I'm sure if you've done a lot of marker illustrations, sometimes if you lay down the pen, the marker and the pen, when you put them together, will bleed a little bit and smear. And so I am just adding marker on top of my pencil transfer, and then I'll finish it with the pen illustration. So that's a nice clean way to do things. And yeah, I'm doing this again, very sketchy, leaving a little bit of negative space, making it a little messy especially on the clothes and the hair. I want to see a bit of the paper through the color and I just want everything to look really free and scribbly and doodly. <laughs> and then I am using the 05 Pigma Micron, so a slightly larger nib size um, to give me that beautiful contour drawing on top of everything. And again, just very free, very perfectly imperfect. This is how I've been drawing people for the longest time. Um, and I really hope that you'll find that doing the simple features on the face and the grid to keep everything in line, it makes it so simple with the tiny feet and basic features. Um, yeah, it just makes it so approachable. So there we go. We've got the cutest little couple here. <laughs> and I definitely hope that you'll give this a try. Thanks so much for watching today, friends, and I will see you soon with a new tutorial. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.